hey, Training Tribe member, you are awesome. In fact, you are my sister from another mister and my brother from another mother. And if you'd like to be called that and you'd like to be told you're awesome and amazing and you're not yet a member of the tribe, just check out the Training Tribe menu item at the Lifetime Athlete. Dot com. Jumping right into our programming for the second week of January 2022. This is the second and final month of our agility block, and it's a palindromic day. That is starting on Monday, 0110. I hope you're enjoying this month's programming. We have our agility training, the shed and shred body recomping system, and upgrades for the running demons. The workout of the week, or actually in this case, the workouts of the week and the upgrades are going to be what I'm going to go over right now. And the news for the body comp and the running groups is in the T2 forum. I want to thank all of you for uh, participating, chiming in and making that uh, a fun and effective journey for many of us. We'll be using the same exercises as last week. So by now, I'm sure you're feeling very confident with all the movements. However, we're shaking up how or the way in which we perform each session. I'll give you a few pointers in the workout breakdowns below, but overall, just have fun and explore how well you blend position and motion as a natural human beast. Now, when we take a specific look at the uh, workout breakdown for workout A, you're going to be using DRC or descending rep circuits. That means you go through the list of exercises for prep, primary, and accessory in circuit fashion, doing one set of each exercise. With each subsequent circuit, you do a few less reps or time in the case of the primary in the round. This keeps your form fresh and allows you to push the pace, essentially bang slamming your cardio into your resistance along with your agilitosis. Now, the breakdown for workout B is going to use straight sets. And I realize this is review for all you pros out there, but it's simply doing all the sets of an exercise before moving on to the next movement. As opposed to workout A, where you're trying to minimize breaks and get that circuit effect here in workout B, you take ample rest breaks as needed to both allow for perfect form execution and to encourage you to use slightly heavier weight if you've got that available. You'll notice this one has less of a cardio effect and more of a pump, and that's fine. That's what we're going for in this session. Therefore, feel free to tack on some extra aerobic training if you have both the time and inclination. Also, we've really been drilling down on movement and function restoration in the master classes. That's going to continue for a while as we're having a lot of fun and I'm seeing and hearing some amazing progress. We're blending in basic pattern work with appreciation for unique body types and solving injury problems, all while getting a nice glow on. So those are our Saturday mornings at 9 a.m. Mountain Time. Hope to see you there. So that's all I've got for this week, guys. And what we're going to do is we're, we're going to run through the uh, video clips of all the exercises again, just so that you feel very confident with uh, the form, the technique, and execution of those things. So sit tight and enjoy, and I'll see you soon. <laughs> 